I was a walking skeleton after escape from the Stalag 11A. And the end of the war, my body could not digest food. In those days, they didn't know how to feed starved prisoners of war, and they almost killed me with good food. But the mental part was even harder because I had nightmares. I would wake up in the middle of the night throwing grenades, standing up on my bed, but it wasn't a grenade, it was a side lamp. And this went up about for four or five years after the war. My father, on the last day of the 44 uprising, told me in the middle of the burning city that if I survived the prisoner of war camp in Germany, don't come to Poland until it's free and independent, and go to London because his brother was the Polish embassy there. My father was the mayor of Warsaw, so I was brought up among architects and city planners. The destruction of beautiful city that Warsaw was made me want to build a beautiful, better world. And I thought that nothing better than being a creative architect. I went to study in Oxford, and I was studying traditional architecture, and I discovered Frank Lloyd Wright and the great masters of architecture. And that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a modern architect. And the only place in the earth that I could do it would be in America. So I was very glad that I got the passport and I came to America and I was able to get into Yale. I came in 1948. I arrived on Queen Mary. New York was full of excitement, the traffic, the noise, taxes being yellow instead of black, and, and the freedom, the freedom of movement, the freedom of religion, the people being happy and friendly and, and, and loving. As an architect for the World Bank, I had uh, worked with many nationalities and often I had to work with Germans. Uh, in Nepal, uh, I was designing schools. Otto, he was his name, asked me, can you forgive us Germans for what we did in the war? And I said, well, before I answer, because I was upset, first, the, were you in the Hitler Jugend? He said, yeah. Were you in the SS? He said, yeah. Were you in the Gestapo in Warsaw? He said, yes. And you ask me to forgive you? I said, I will never forgive you or the Germans for what you did. But let's be friends and continue because we worked very well until that moment. Uh, I thank the good Lord that I had the opportunity to accomplish the things that I did and face the hardships in the Second World War because that made everything after in my life easy. I've worked in 30 countries of this world and uh, I feel that uh, I have uh, repaid some of the debt that I owed to my dead friends. I hope that the color of courage will remain my legacy for future generations. <laughs>